The Fed's cut interest rates by half a percent. That's a massive move. What does it mean to you and your finances? It's the biggest cut from the Fed ever when there hasn't been a crisis. What am I saying? Well, the last cut was just over four years ago. And normally when they cut interest rates, they only cut when there's times of crisis at half a percent. Normally they are cutting at 0.25. Only in 2001 when there was a crisis in 2007 did they cut by half a percent. So are they panicking? Well, what are we seeing? Well, first of all, we're seeing the unemployment numbers are going up quite quickly. They're also looking at inflation and inflation is under control. So they feel that they're confident enough to cut by half a percent. Could it mean, however, that inflation actually starts to edge up? And that means that they've acted too quickly. Or are they acting in a timely manner and just saving the market and making sure that we get a soft landing? I'm actually going for the soft landing personally, but let me explain further so you understand what it means. First of all, it means that if you've got a mortgage, whether it's in America or other parts of the world, which determine often their currency by the dollar, then you're going to see interest rates cut. That's massive. It means that you're paying less for your mortgage, less for your credit card. Also means, however, if you've got money saved, unless you're invested in the right area, and someone like De Beer can help you, then you're going to be getting a lower rate from a bank account or a fixed return. So it means there's opportunities to invest in the stock market and places where there is opportunities for expansion. When interest rates go down, of course, people are more likely to buy a property. When interest rates go down, companies can borrow and they can grow. And that, of course, means that they can employ more people. So by cutting, they actually are stimulating the economy and companies who can, of course, take advantage. The markets, first of all, went up yesterday. Then there was a sell-off to some extent because the amount of money that had already been invested based on the fact that we believed that it was going to be an interest rate cut of this sort of level was actually already invested. In other words, people sold the news. But when we look at the longer term, we see that when interest rates are cut, over the next three months, you see on average, for historically, 10% increase in stock. You see a 15% increase increase in stock over the next 12 months historically when there's a cut in interest rates. What should you do? Well, it means that if you're in a situation whereby you're reducing the amount of money that you're actually spending on things like credit cards and mortgages, obviously then you should be trying to make sure that you save that money, invest it, invest in the right areas, invest for me in a diversified portfolio, particularly in areas where the AI sector and tech is going to take advantage. You can talk to a Devere advisor if you're looking for fixed returns. We're also locking great returns for you. It's a massive move by the Fed and it's controversial to some level because it's larger than many expected, although we did predict it. It means, however, there's good opportunities for me, it means it's a good time to be looking at investing in the right sectors and making your money work for you.